Well, it is finally time to end the special event of the month. I had a blast doing it, but you know, all good things have to come to an end. This special event hit pretty close to home for some people because there is a massive disaster happening in the world right now, like the massive fires in Turkey, and that is a huge shame. And that's what gave me the idea of making the special event. So let's finish it on a high note. By the by, I'm the movie guy, and this is my review for Deepwater Horizon. I actually remember some of the news headlines from when I was younger when this uh, incident took place back in 2010. It is currently the worst oil spill disaster in US history and actually South Park mocked the apology campaign from the company that was responsible for this oil spill in their Coon episodes but I didn't really know a lot of details back then when I saw those episodes. So as I've said this disaster took place in 2010. It was caused by an oil rig named Deepwater Horizon but it was because they were pressured by the heads of the contracting company behind them named BP. 11 people lost their lives in this tragedy and that's what this movie captures. It follows two main characters. The first one is Mike Williams. He was the head engineer on this rig and also Mr. Jimmy. He was in charge of the entire rig. One thing different that this movie does than other disaster films is that it also chose to add another antagonist for the film. It's not just the fire who is the antagonist but one of the BP directors who kept pushing for the drill to happen despite not uh, being safe. Uh, to do so. He's just there to take up some of the heat in the beginning of the film and for us to place the blame on him at the end of the film. Another problem in this film that I also encountered in the first entry which was Into the Storm was that there was little to no character development once again. Mike Williams has a family and Mr. Jimmy is dedicated. That's basically it in terms of character development. And all of the other characters, there are just names. When a list of casualties is called out, sure, I felt bad because, you know, the people lost their lives, you know, real life people lost their lives in that disaster. But at the same time, those characters barely or didn't even appear at all in the film. The film puts all of their eggs in one basket. They are hoping that, you know, we would forget about all of the problems because the visual effects are so good. And I did forget for a while because the visual effects are really that good. I loved how the fire looked, how the mud volcanoes looked. It was very, very impressive. The production design was very much on point, but that cannot make a film great just because of the visual effects. I also like the music in this film. I thought that it was very correctly chosen and it added a lot of tension to some of the scenes. I'm not a huge Peter Berg fan who is the director of this film but I have to say that he did a pretty good job here. He's very technically on point. He almost opts for two different styles, a documentary style and an action style and I know that he has worked on a couple of documentaries in real life and that shows in this film. The cast includes the likes of Mark Wahlberg who played Mike Williams, the head engineer. He is a frequent collaborator of uh, director Peter Berg. There's also Kurt Russell who played Mr. Jimmy. There's also John Malkovich in this film. The cast do a pretty good job. They're pretty dedicated, but I would have liked to see more from Mark Wahlberg who I thought underperformed a little bit. Deepwater Horizon tells a tragic story, but I also think that it's pretty tragic how this film doesn't develop other important elements enough other than the visual effects. I think this film could have been something special, but it's not. So my recommendation is that you do not give this movie a watch with a rating of two stars. I hope you guys have enjoyed this month's special event. As I've said, this was the last entry and starting September, we're going to start a new special event. September is going to be officially Bond Month. If you are hyped for that, let me know that in the comments. You will get more details on September the 2nd. While you are there, letting me know how hyped you are for the Bond special event. You can also press that like and subscribe button. You can press the bell to get notifications every time my videos get uploaded. And until next time, Keep on watching movies, guys. Daddy, you need to give me a fossil. I'll be honest. I will. I want to be able to hold it up and say my daddy tames the dinosaurs. <laughs>